Good evening from Boston, where we spent several hours tonight watching a bizarre ending to the one year anniversary of the marathon bombings. The bomb squad carrying out two controlled detonations of bags left near the finish line. They have now charged this man, Kayvon Edson, seen here in cell phone video, behaving very strangely, with disorderly conduct, disturbing the peace, and possession of a hoax device, which turned out to be a rice cooker. In the end, the whole thing was just a scare. There were no explosives in the bags. It was, however, an unfortunate finale to a day in which Boston's grit and grace was on full display. And I have to say, as a local boy, much of what I saw today filled me with pride. One of my favorite moments today involved Adrian Hazlitt Davis, who lost a leg a year ago, but strode confidently on stage and made a joke. No milestone is too small to celebrate. Even walking into a non-handicapped bathroom stall for the first time doing a happy dance. Yes, here in Boston, it's okay to laugh in times of adversity. That's what Heather Abbott, also a survivor, does when she talks about her four prosthetics, including a waterproof one and one for high heels. I do have some options when it comes to legs. <laughs> it's amazing to me that you actually have a sense of humor about this. It helps me to, to laugh about it sometimes. Of course, there was more than joking today. There was music and moving sentiments about all the beauty that the bombing unleashed. We would never wish the devastation and pain we have experienced on any of you. However, we do wish that all of you, at some point in your lives, feel as loved as we have felt over this last year. Thousands gathered today at the finish line of the marathon for a moment of silence at the exact time the bombs went off. And there was one clear message that the courage and compassion we saw in the response to the attacks way outweighs the destructive impulses of the attackers themselves. Jared Clowery, whose body was riddled with shrapnel last year, today said the attack had changed his view of the world and made him a better man. The bomb is only one split second of the worst, you know, but it's followed by endless seconds of the best, leading right up to today. It's exactly right. There were two alleged bad guys here and then just countless good guys. Countless. From what I see, you know, 99% of us are good. And uh, it's sad that sometimes it takes a bad thing to happen for us to express how we truly feel. And there's one more big display of Boston Strong coming up very soon. On Monday, it's the 118th running of the Boston Marathon. There will be 9,000 more runners this year than last year, and a million spectators expected. That's double the average. The theme of the race this year is we will run again.